Churchill Downs Outrider is facing some criticism this week for what happened after Rich Strike crossed the finish line at the 148th Kentucky Derby. But the horse's trainer, though, defending the Outrider's actions. LX18's Evelyn Schultz joins us here in the studio to explain the controversy. Good morning, Evie. D and Chris, good morning to you. Animal rights organization PETA is one of the most outspoken critics of the situation. We'll get to what they said in just a moment, but first, take a look at the video showing the moments after the race when Derby winner Rich Strike bit Outrider Greg Blasey and his pony multiple times. You can see Blasey physically responding in an attempt to get Rich Strike under control. Some people online have blasted Blasey's actions, but the Colts trainer Eric Reed told the Today Show the Outrider actually prevented Rich Strike from getting hurt. And he bit the guy's leg terribly, oh, bit his arm a couple of really bad bites. Um, he, the horse is not a mean horse. He just was in the race mode and he didn't understand why they were grabbing him to slow him down. That man saved my horse from injury because had he got up in the air and lost my rider, he could have got loose. Uh -huh. um, I'm sorry for the injuries he sustained. Mm -hmm. Here's part of that statement from PETA Senior Vice President Kathy Guillermo. She said, quote, whipping horses in a race is abuse and should be eliminated, but punishing a horse who is in a frenzy as the crowd roared is inexcusably cruel. PETA will be filing a complaint about the outrider Greg Blasey, who appeared to hit Rich Strike. Blasey should have let go of the horse until he calmed down, and the lead pony should have had protective gear. Blasey has decades of experience as an outrider, according to the American Quarter Horse Association. He's worked at Churchill Downs for more than 20 years. He's described as an Oklahoma horseman with ranch roots. He's one of just a handful of professional outriders at the track. Chris and Dia.